Thank you so much, Lindsay. My! See, if you're getting paid for this, that's me to, why don't you say that? Wait, we like this, like, bold lip. That's me to go and break this man's heart again. Mark is genuinely torn. Maybe it's good for Lindsay to be in his life. You're cute. Look at Mike and his loafers. We mean. I'm glad that Mark had this support system a few moments later. Damn! Ain't my time when Lindsay is not on this man. Why you ain't open the door for her, Mike? Still no black friends inside? Oh, that cute little baby. Ooh. Why didn't you tell the experts this? Look at these two friends, y'all. I wonder how Katina feels about this little sit down. I can't take this promo right now. Listen to him, Lindsay. She just doesn't like him, y'all. Elijah, say no, please. Save her. What up, Married at First Sight fam? And welcome back to From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Rizzo. This is where we recap Married at First Sight season 14, episode 16. That's right, y'all. We are one episode away from decision day. And I'm getting so excited because <laughs> next week, your girl is hosting the decision. It's hard for me to say. Decision day dish in Boston. Say that three times because I got issues, okay? Decision decision day dish, decision day dish, okay. If this is your first time here, if you are coming from decision day dish and you are just meeting me, I am your girl Rizzo. We do all TV recaps, primarily Married at First Sight, Real Housewives of Potomac. We sprinkle in some Big Brother, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Love is Blind. I did watch Ultimatum this year, but I did not recap it. Insecure, dang, holds a deep spot there. I had a little my belch, go back in and check that. But if you guys are here for Married at First Sight, stick around, let me know what you think about the couples. I'm so interested to see what's gonna happen, particularly with Jasmine and Michael, because I still believe that they need a little more time and it's gonna be an issue. Oh my goodness, the show is about to start. So without further ado, y'all, let's get to it. I feel like we always have so much content from Lindsay recording on her own like everybody else doesn't have this as much but she's always in the bed talking to the camera talking to the cats interacting somehow some way i'm sure production is like thank you so much lizzie for giving us this content because no one else is doing this maybe jasmina sometimes does it it looks like the blair witch project when she's like underneath also yeah i know i got my nick shirt on uh new york all teams are, are done we're not even gonna talk about the fact that um, Boston. All right, I'm a Knicks fan, so that don't count for us. All right, let's go. What, what is that, Elijah? Is that like a, a, a Millie Rock mixed with like, I know I can't Millie Rock, so I'm gonna turn it into like back shot in the street, but I know that's corny, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Okay. Mike, Mike, is this, is this sweat or is it raining? Mike, that's a lot of sweat if that's sweat. Is it raining outside? Oh, he said I'm with a friend. That's not what I signed up for. He's right. I told y'all they acting like friends. Damn. The first month y'all was supposed to be friends, maybe the first two weeks, honestly, because y'all been married, so y'all should have been treating each other like y'all in a relationship this whole time. But not a whole seven weeks of friendship. This is tough for them, y'all. Mike is like, I don't know which way this is going, but as long as I'm me, I'm comfortable with whatever decision we make. That don't give me hope, Mike. Wait, how old are Mark and Lindsay that she needs to check his sperm for now? I know they're older, but they're not that old, right? Am I wrong? He <laughs> said my little guys are her little girl. Ooh, she said, I'm gonna give you a little help ejaculate. Can we say that? Or should we watch a video? See <gasps> Wait, Mark is the one who said to we need a video. <laughs> Y'all be so offended if we in the back and my husband needs to bust it. Can I say it? Can I say that? I'm gonna edit that out. And he can't do that while I'm in the room. So. We were made to be fruitful and multiply. If you can't do that with me, then what are we doing? Also, what's Mark's search features? You know I always ask that. Mark, what you be looking for? I think he goes real like bimbo-y, like double X <laughs> boobs and like real skinny. When I see men who have darker hair, I usually think they like women with darker hair, but he really thinks he, I think he is attracted to Lindsay. So he may do like blonde bimbo-y joints. Cause you know, apparently he enjoys being yelled at. What if he's, what's that called? When you like to be humiliated? Hmm, is it called humiliation? What is that called? No, like Dom's do. This is, I really, so sorry if this is your first time here. It's not usually what we talk about. I don't know how we jumped into this. This is in minute like 12, we're in minute 12, I'm sorry. Not the SpongeBob a few moments later. Oh my goodness. Lindsay just said your sperm don't look healthy. Yo, name a time when Lindsay is not on this man because i haven't found any for 16 whole episodes she said it looks like he's been shooting out elmer's glue my goodness y'all this is this is insane poor mark this 
test is a beat. This look like a COVID oh, test. Control. Okay, the test is a little faint. She said you got the dad jokes lined up. They're cute. Y'all, it's weird because when they're good, they're good. But when they're not, this is so bad. I know I say the same thing over and over to everybody who's like repeat, which I appreciate y'all. But like, damn. Also, my last recap, I posted it late. And it had copyright infringement. Y'all, it's a lot. I appreciate y'all who watched it because I posted it like, what, four hours, five hours before this next, last episode. I don't know. Supri, I remember her. Wait, we like this like bold lips. No way, y'all be fighting about the same thing though. Y'all have an unresolved issue. This shouldn't be the case. It's not like y'all just be going around fighting. Every other week it's a new fight. It's the same It's social media and job. Okay, maybe it's two. But still, why do I feel like Noya's over this man? I told y'all before, I think Noya's like was super enamored really early and she's just like, mm, whatever. The sparks have gone away, the excitement has died down and she's just ready to do something new. You know what's crazy? Like Steve and Noya were my short shot, but like Noya's making me question her. Back to Elijah Ron and, and this Coach Mac. St still no black friends in sight? Okay. okay. Oh, she's in school now. Wait, a couple of things here. So he just went through this with his ex, one. Didn't know that you just had an ex. You also said you were single for two years. So what's the just? Two, I did not know that Katina was getting her associates now, currently. But like she's doing that while she's on the show and dating you. And she had a honeymoon. So she's still able to go out and travel. I don't know what he is talking about when he says travel abroad. I, like, I don't understand what he means. Is that like seven trips? Is that three? Because when you're in school, you have spring break. You have summers off, right? You have some time to travel. If you really want to do that, Let's say you want to go three different places. That's still possible for her. Now, it's not possible to travel the world, have children, young children at that, right? And get your bachelor's and your master's. That's a lot. I guess it is possible because let me not say that. But I do understand what he's saying. That's a lot on her plate. And he would really have to pick up a lot of the work. And that might not be something that he was, uh, you know, signed up for. Who does that? Is she the one? Ah, uh, now that's a real simple question, is she the one? Coach Mac, that's what we on the TV for. This is a lot, that's a big question for us. We mean. But I do love his no nonsense. All right, what you gonna do? You need to make a decision. If y'all not on the same page for life, then what are you doing? Which is right. Elijah, well, say no, please, save her. Hi, right, Mike and Jasmina, come on. That's all we got. Look at Mike and his loafers. Come on. Whose baby is this? Not that fresh out baby. What a cute little baby. Yes, Tina. It's our last time seeing our BFF, Claire. Claire, if you're watching, we heart you. You guys are thinking too much. Yep. Y'all are looking for the same thing, and you guys can provide each other that same thing, but you're not doing it because you're over processing. We said from jump, these two people are overthinkers. They are trying to analyze every tiny little thing, and they're not just living with their partner. Yo. Why does this bug me? Because every time we're at Mike and his scenes, he's always like hopeful. And then we go to Jasmine and she's always like, nah, this ain't it. Who this new friend? See? Dang, Jasmine. Right. She's your friend, but not just the best friend. Wait, Jasmina just said if Michael, she agreed with her friend that if Michael was more like forthright, made it known that he was really into her and he really wanted it to work, that it would kind of change her mindset a little bit. But she thinks he's probably in his head. Jasmina, why don't you say that? Like, why are you waiting for him to say that? You know this man is into you. If that is what is holding things back, why don't you open it up? Because if you know he's overthinking it, that means he's hesitant on how you're feeling. And if you're feeling this way, why don't you say it? Because then everybody, right? These sisters know. Mike and Jasmine are not working and like watching this scene is just sad. Yes. Her friend is like, why don't you speak up? Yes. She just doesn't like him, y'all. Damn. Not the handshake. Oh, what a good male friend. He says, sorry about the kitty. Ladies, that's the extent of sensitivity we're going to get for men when you lose something or someone. That's it right there. Dang, his it's mom went to the hospital on Monday. Like Mark is always taking care of someone else. It's like he's got to deal with decision day, but then he's over here having to worry about his mom. She was in the hospital. Now he needs to worry about full-time caregiver, take her for her. It's like, it's always one thing after another. You can see the concern in John's face. I love that Lindsay is talking to his mom like that. Also, shouts to the roses. Good for Mark and Lindsay for working together. She's there for him when he needs because that's Lindsay's thing, right? Lindsay loves to provide. You give her a task, she can do it. You feel defeated, Lindsay will find a way so that she can say that she did it. Damn, so his mom went to the hospital on Monday. 
Five days ago, Lindsay spoke to his mother telling her that she was depressed. Then Thursday, his cat died and she was there. Or he had to put his cat down and she was there. This a lot, Mark, this is the, the most tumultuous eight weeks of your entire life. Honestly, even if this marriage doesn't work, I'm glad that Mark had this support system around him, whether it be production, cameras, Lindsay, just somebody there for him while he's going through all of this. Cause I don't know, this is a lot to go through by yourself with you and your three cats that went now down to two. Like maybe, Mark, maybe marriage wasn't the reason why you went through this experiment. It was because God knew that you were about to have all of these moments and you would need some support. Maybe that's it. I'm sorry that marriage ain't the finish line here, but I'm glad you got something out of it. See, Mark's friend is talking like, almost like I'm talking for Mike and Jasmina because I'm like, yo, they've been good this last month, even though they're, you know, still not very intimate, but they've been moving in the right direction this last month. So can we just talk about this month and maybe use this month as something to say, okay, well, maybe this is enough for us to say, we're gonna hold on to see what can come versus looking at the entire experiment and saying, okay, well, it's been two months and only 50% of it has gone well. Mark's friend is like, look, Y'all have y'all ups and downs, but this last week, the most recent, is showing you her progress and you guys' progress as a couple, and it's going well. You are moving in the right direction, so bank on that. I don't know about that. I don't know if he knows about all the, the, the comments. I don't know. So Mark is going back and forth because he's like, I don't even know if I'll miss her yet because she's always up in my head. <laughs> this is one of the times where we actually need a reset or we need them to get out of the house. Even though I'm anti-reset, I don't like that. We just need some separation so that they miss each other. Actually, that's what they do before decision day, right? They spend one night apart. I don't think that's enough. I think Noy is gonna love it and Mark is gonna be like, hmm, I don't know. He needs some more time to realize if he actually misses her, he just is missing that body or that person right next to him. Mark is genuinely torn. Everyone else I feel like is clear, but Mark is genuinely torn. Not her, his friend being called Paria. Oh, Perry, sorry. Ring shopping. Not a sponsored site. Steve has no idea that Noya is like up and down. I wonder if you buy a ring for her. She says yes because she sees the ring and then you go back and watch this and realize she was only half in. How you feel? Perry, your skin. I know there's work there, but ooh. Oh, Steve, Steve. I don't know if we like this goatee or whatever this is that you're doing. Also, big up to the lab created diamonds. We don't need to waste money on real ones. What do you mean she really loved the round diamond? Y'all had a conversation about these rings? She knows this is coming? Y'all, I can't take this promo right now. They said, y'all, if y'all are giving rings away, you better preview my entire site. Steve, you getting paid for this? Wait a minute. Is Peria actually Steve's friend or she worked for this site? I can't take Lindsay and Eliza while I'm being BFFs now. They are two full-time jobs. Why does Lindsay always just drop Instagrammable stuff? She said we're a full-time job. She said it ain't easy being a boss. How does that apply? They're friendly because they're very similar in their approach. Yeah, the like not caring how other people perceive the things that you say that you like don't give a f about. Oh, okay. Good, good job guys. I wonder how Katina feels about this little sit down because Elijah is the reason that she actually got into it with Lindsay in the first place, right? She was defending him, saying all this stuff. And she was like, I don't care what happens with them. Like I'm never gonna like her and proceeded to not like her for the last like four episodes or whenever they were together. We even saw it on the after party. And then now to sit down and see that they're like buddy, buddy. After this woman, you said she was rude and disrespected you and your husband. Like, I just wonder how she's feeling about all this. Like, listen to him, Lindsay. He's saying that Mark is almost intimidated to talk to you because he always feels like you're gonna correct him. And what does she do? She just gives an example of how she's corrected him. I hope she takes that with her and knows that like, your partner should not feel that way. So instead of giving you an example, let's try to reel that in. I'm just like, if this was such a big thing for you and like a, clearly a deal breaker, why don't you tell the experts this? Thank you, Lindsay. So you want her to cook and clean and do the wifely duties, but you want her working too. So she should have three meals for you a day, seven days a week, taking care of the kids, cooking, cleaning, all of that by herself, but also going to work. So she, she didn't, she take on masculine and feminine roles, but again, you just going to do the masculine. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you, Lindsay, for telling him working from home actually means you're working from home. Lindsay's actually being super reasonable here. 
If she, if the only issue is that she can't cook, do a meal delivery service. He said, but I'm not a teacher. <laughs> okay, now I'll go back. Maybe it's good for Lindsay to be in his life. I don't know the other way around, but this is good. What you mean she can't travel this week so I can't travel? That's correct. Y'all schedule is not always going to be the same. I, right, y'all, I'm putting these hearts on because we need some love for Mike and Jasmina. Let's see where this goes. Come on, red dress. Mike, 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 why are you, she about to say it. Why you ain't open the door for her, Mike? Every time I see Mike and Jasmine next to each other, the height differential just gets so much. Oh, she got heels on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all saw Neo and Crystal's wedding this weekend with all those red dresses? Jasmine. Yes, black dance teacher. Oh, this is good because they need to be more intimate so they'll be touching each other. What kind of dance are we doing? Look at this dance teacher shoes. Look at these two friends, y'all. She said, this is the Michael that I want to see every day and I want to grow it. So wait, they're not just friends. Oh, okay, Jasmina. Yes, Mike. Yes, Mike. I like you in red. That's right. Let her know I am physically attracted to you in this red here. I'm paying attention. Not only do I like you in this red dress, I like you in red. Mm -hmm. I like what Mike is doing here because this is almost like his last ditch effort because he's like, look, it wasn't perfect, but let me tell you what I would have done to make it perfect. Like I have the ability to do this. It just didn't work out that way. So let me tell you what I would have done differently. Y'all both, both wasting mad time in your head thinking and drawing conclusions about the other person. I hope Jasmina gets to respond and says the same. Jasmina, you up. Wait, why is Jasmina going into questions for him? Jasmina, this is your turn to say, I would have done X, Y, and Z different. I was also in my head. Like, what, what are we doing? But I do appreciate Mike. Mike is like, look, I got romantic feelings for you, sis. You the best time. Let me not do it. Jasmina gonna break this man's heart again. Oh, I have romantic feelings for you. How do you feel? Sir, I'm still not that into you. Damn. But do you need that to say yes? She said oh, he's so just a friend. Much. Mike knew that this was his last opportunity to get her. She was at a five a couple of weeks ago, maybe one week ago. And she was like, I need to have these feelings grow. And so he was like, yo, I'm about to put it all on the table per his sisters. And he got shut down again. Wait, I'm biting, but he said it's heartbreaking to hear that she doesn't have feelings for me. I also think Jasmina likes to be kind of chased, where she likes to be the one who's like trying to get their attention. Or like, you know, they're, I guess everybody likes for them to be equal, but Mike is like putting all the shit in like, please like me, please like me. And I don't think that that's attractive to her. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining me for part one of Married at First Sight's season 14. Why is this doing this to my lips? I mean, my teeth. Season 14, episode 16, right before Decision Day with me, your girl Rizzo of From Rizzo with love. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Let me know what you thought about this recap. What you want to see more of. What you want to... Actually, the season's over, so <laughs> there goes that. If you are new and this is your first time here, please announce yourself in the comments. I'm very interactive with folks in the comments. I feel like I respond to everything except for, I don't know where these um, Spanish comments are coming from. And some of them like X-rated. I don't know how you found me, but like, I'm cool with you, you know, you know, not, not being here. So <laughs> there's that. Y'all at the end of the day, I'm always looking for these couples to find love and to stay together. But I truly and honestly don't know what's gonna happen with this season um, and with these couples, right? Always Katina and Elijah Wan, yes. Well, Katina, yes. I was gonna say, Noi is not sure. Steve, yes, he's going to get a ring. Jasmina, no. I don't know, y'all. This is stressful. Make sure you come back. I'm gonna drop part two in like two days. I'm trying to be on top of this a little better since we are, um, you know, ending this episode, but make sure you stick around for part two. Also, if you saw the commercial previews, I will be hosting the Married at First Sight Decision Day Dish Boston edition with a couple of folks, some of your faves from previous seasons. So stick around, super excited for that. And I will see y'all next week after you come back in two days, right? To see part two, but I'll see y'all. Bye. And please remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye, guys.